morning, Olies. It is day two of Skills USA trip. We are about 20 minutes till our st we compete in our state competition. So before all that, let's get to the news. Do you want to support the Gateway community? Are you in need of a mattress? Come to our fourth annual mattress fundraiser tomorrow, April 9th from 10 to 5 in the Gateway Gym. Every purchase benefits the Performing Arts Program. See you there. And sports report is um, boys volleyball is home versus DSST at 4.30. Uh, tomorrow, track and field is running at 8.30 a.m. at North Stadium. And girls soccer is also home versus Adam City at 11 a.m. Go Olies. I'm Zacchaeus and I'm here with Talia and Ronan and we're in a KC-97 in the cockpit of all planes, you know. <laughs> and we're going to be listing off some new changes Mr. Fist added to the school year. First, changes will be no eighth periods, only seven periods. Classes will be 58 minutes long and passing time will increase from four minutes to five minutes. Freshmen and sophomores, sophomores will have no free periods. Juniors and seniors can apply for free periods, first or seventh, if they are on track for graduation. New programs here at Gateway will be business and Latinos in action. While juniors can apply for principal passes to leave campus for lunch. Old KC-97, this plane was built in 1953 by Boeing. Uh, it's based on the B-29 model. The whole lower framework of this plane is identical to the bomber, the wings and engines included. BSA and LULAC are collaborating to help with Cultural Week at the end of the month. Use this link to sign up to perform something special in regards to your culture. During the Culture Week assembly, forms will need to be completed by the 22nd. The assembly will take place on the 28th during school hours. See you there. Hey juniors, on Wednesday, SATs are happening at 7.30. You guys better be there. Ninth and 10th graders, PSAT is on Thursday for from 7.30 to whenever, so don't miss it. You know, be there, take your test, and do good. Good luck. Our robots were driving around this field. Um, we had it go into the cardboard house over there. We had to open the door and grab the ordinance inside of it and bring it out to the green bucket directly in front of the robots over here. Uh, it's pretty great. It's so good. What did you do? Uh, I was in the robotics competition. I'm pretty sure I got second place. How do you think you did? Second place. For me, I went to my robotics competition and we got to present our robots over to a group of judges and they also showed us how to drive around a robot and the communication skills incorporated into the design of it. I didn't have a competition today, however, on the first day that we came, I presented our community service project, Computer for, Computers for Students, and I think we did pretty good. We could Hello, ma'am. Are you excited? Um, yeah. Okay, good. Um. This is the last weekend to see the art show at the Aurora Town Center and the final vote for student body elections using this QR code. We'll be back in the studio with the Skills USA results next week. Happy